RPK clone. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Dog Pound. I am M-Dog, coming to you once again from the beautiful Bridgeville Rifle and Pistol Club in Bridgeville, Delaware. The little town that says, if you lived here, you'd be home now. But before we get into today's video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. Share this video with a like-minded, patriotic, freedom-loving friend or two. And then consider smashing that subscribe button so that you become a member of our Dog Pound family. This way you stay informed and up to date with any content that gets uploaded to the channel. It only takes a couple seconds of your time, but it's the easiest way for you to show your support for what we do. If you enjoy firearms, shooting, and a love for our constitutional rights and freedoms, then you won't be disappointed. You can also follow me on Patreon and on Facebook at The Dog Pound with M Dog. And I'm now posting videos over on Rumble at Dog Pound with M Dog. That's all one word, and it's spelled just like what you see here at the bottom of your screen. In the video I did on the Taurus Millennium Pistols, I started a fun little contest to give everyone a chance to win some free Dog Pound merchandise as a way to celebrate the channel approaching a milestone of 1,000 subscribers. But most importantly, it's a way for us to say thank you for being here and taking this journey with us. We wouldn't be here without your support and we are all grateful for each of you. The contest is going on right now as we speak and it will end once we cross over the 1,000 subscriber threshold. If you would like to get entered into the contest, all you have to do is like this video and then comment free dog pound t-shirt in the comment section of this video. Every time you do it, you get one chance to win the free merch. If you comment free dog pound t-shirt 100 times, you'll literally get 100 entries for a chance to win. So comment as often as you like, and I wish you all the very best of luck. The winner will be drawn on a future video and we will pick their, the winner will be able to pick their size of t-shirt ranging from small to 4XL. I may even throw in some extra gifts for you before we ship it out. This contest will cost the winner absolutely nothing. We will pay for the shipping and all you have to do is participate. Oh yeah, and you gotta have fun. That's what this is all about. Now, let's get into today's video. And boy, is it gonna be an awesome video. Today, I'm breaking out one of my favorite rifles. This rifle was given to me from my mom and dad when I graduated from high school. Telling my age now, I'm talking about the rifle that is so often referred to as the RPK clone, the NHM-91 made by Narinko. And this is one bad mammer jammer. Awesome, smooth as butter. The NHM-91 is a semi-automatic civilian development of the Russian Kalashnikov AKM and RPK infantry small arm built by Norinko of China and marketed into the U.S. by China Sports Incorporated of Ontario, California. A civilian semi-automatic variant of the Chinese Type 56 assault rifle. The NHM-91 was built to imitate the appearance of the Russian RPK light machine gun. This rifle was first imported and marketing in the United States in 1991. It's also the year I graduated. Or as the shore billies say, I gadgeted. <laughs> Based on the Russian RPK, the NHM features a stronger receiver and a longer, thicker profile chrome line barrel measuring 20 inches compared to the 23.2 inches of the original RPK, along with a forward mounted steel bipod. The NHM 91 was equipped from the factory with two 30 round magazines and a 75 round Chinese drum magazine. So let's take a quick look at the specs on the Norinco NHM 91.
All post band rifle stocks on the NHM91 are a one-piece thumb hole design with integral pistol grip. They are thicker and longer than the standard AKM AK-47 buttstock. I know there's a ton of options on the market today that allow for fully customizing this rifle because so many shooters can't tolerate the look or feel of a thumb hole stock. But I wanted to leave this rifle as it was when I when it was first imported. I mean, it was a gift too, plus you know the sentimental value. To be completely honest, and I know I'm going to catch some heat for saying this out loud, but I actually enjoy putting my thumb through the hole on the. Um, I mean, I enjoy the thumb hole buttstock. I just really like the feel. Whatever, man. What can I say? I'm an advocate for originality. The stock doesn't bother me a bit and it is very comfortable to shoot. The NHM91 does accept the standard AK style magazines that are made for the 7.62 by 39 round. Some factory NHM91 rifles were manufactured with a rivet in the magazine release button, preventing use of some Soviet or German made AKM or AK47 magazines. Instead, special magazines with a modified tang were made by Norinco for the NHM91. Since the sunset of the 1994 Public Safety and Recreational Firearms Use Protection Act, removal of the rivet in the receiver and magazine release allows use of any and all AKM, RPK, or AK-47 magazines. For today's shoot, I'm going to be using 122 grain steel case full metal jackets from Tool Ammo. That's one of the things I love about AKs, NHMs, AKMs, RPKs, SKSs, etc. They eat cheap steel cased ammo like it's their last meal. I'm a huge mark for Kalishnikov design and any Type 56 style rifle or shotgun that I've ever fired is as reliable as they come. That's one of many reasons that the design is as popular now as it ever was. I'm not one to get involved in that great debate over which one is the best, the AK or the AR. I'm an equal opportunity shooter and they're both great. I've got some factory original 30 round magazines and a few other standard AK magazines loaded up and ready to go. I'm not a big fan of drum mags simply because I've not had any good luck with them and they tend to have reliability issues. I don't know if it's the spring tensioners or just it some get hung up when it's cycling the rounds on the tracks inside of the drum. Either way, I don't feel like fooling with them today, so we're going with the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. So let's head out and put some hurt on that splatter dude downrange. I'll see you on a bit for my final thoughts. Let's roll. So we got target set up at 50 yards down range. I figure we'll start here, run a few rounds to it, and then uh, try different things. What do you think? Sound good? She's a beast.
Oh, we're empty. We're clear. I think I've got 16 rounds in the mag. So I think it's time for a rapid fire. What do you guys think? I think so. Let's see how well the old girl still does. Comes time to eat the steel. I think we're empty. And we are empty. And she is hot. Very hot. But very, very bad. So guys, it's that time. I hate to do it, but I gotta go. Gotta get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the time with the NHM 91 Narinko. Awesome, awesome rifle. If you ever come across one of these somewhere at a gun show or a dealership, man, don't hesitate. Literally, no, no pun intended, pull the trigger. So, for that being said, we're going to roll Norinko NHM 91, the RPK clone. See if the kennels for my final thoughts. Welcome back to the kennels for my final thoughts on the Norinko NHM 91. RPK clone chambered in the very popular 7.62 by 39 caliber. Well, there's really not much to be said when this style of rifle speaks for itself and has been doing so for decades now. It's one of the world's most popular and well-known platforms. It's still used in some military capacity to this day. The reason for it being so popular and still in high demand is really very simple. It's reliable and it works very well in all climates and conditions. I personally don't ever see that changing and these rifles will go on long after we are gone. I just enjoy sharing this prized and sentimental rifle with you guys and I hope that y'all don't mind too much. Don't forget to like this video and post free dog pound t-shirt in the comments section of this video to get entered for a chance to win some free merch. It's our way of saying thank you for being a part of our Dog Pound family. The contest will end once we reach the 1,000 subscriber mark, and we will draw the winning name on a future video. This contest is totally free for you to enter, and we will cover the shipping costs for the winner. So just have fun with it, and good luck to you all. Thank you to our product sponsors who help make these videos possible. Steel's Gun Shop in Lewis, Delaware for being a friend and a huge help to me since the beginning of this journey. Give them a call or stop in and see them if you're in our area. They will take good care of you and they will help you find whatever you may need. And if you do, tell them that them dogs sent you and you saw them right here on the dog pound. Thank you to Splatterburst Targets for supplying us with these very cool targets we use in all of our videos. If you don't have a place where you're able to shoot steel targets, you might as well shoot some of the best paper targets on the market today. All of their targets are made right here in the good old US of A, so you will be supporting a homegrown business. Check out their website and get stocked up for your next trip out to the range. Thank you to our friends over at Ballastall Multipurpose Cleaner and Lubricant for all they do to help out. Why trust anything but the very best to protect and preserve our precious tools of freedom? They are the original CLP and they've been doing it since 1904, so you know they're doing something right. Check out their website for a complete lineup of their products and get stocked up today so you're better prepared for tomorrow. And as always, my friends, spend time with those you love. Time spent with them is always time well spent. May you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Shoot straight, shoot often, be safe, enjoy the time we have here. God bless you and yours. I'm M Dog, and I'll see you all right here next time on the Dog Pound. Norinko NHM 91. 7.62 by 39 mil. 
the RPK clone. Most importantly, it's just a bad dude. And we gone. Boom.